Hello everyone, LP Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of DayZ. Uh, this time, I've chosen to do things a little bit differently. I've uh, went onto a jam pack server, just to give ourselves a little bit more action. I'm not going to be doing anything absolutely horrendously crazy, because I don't want to get shot or killed straight off. So we're just going to uh, play along on this one, see what happens. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just keep things going. So my first order of call of action that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and check out this barn, uh, and I'm I'm also going to run about with my rifle out because uh, if anybody starts shooting at me, I'm going to try and get the rounds down as much as possible because uh, there's no way in hell that I'm going to get killed. You know, four episodes into uh, you know recording these. So we just have to scout around, see if there's anything in here. We've got something here, it's just a bat. And I'm also going to try and keep my eyes peeled for anybody coming around. Obviously, we're now heading around the coast here. So there's going to be, uh, you know, people spawn on the coast. And what we're probably going to find is that, you know, people will get desperate. Or no starts are, you know, desperate to get themselves uh, loot. But it looks like someone's been here. When you see open doors like this, it means that someone's been bloody here, eh? Which normally means that there's not going to be very much for us to find. But we can have a look. Just make sure everything is okay. Which it is. Yeah, come off that view. I don't think we need to reload. I think this is full. Um, but we'll definitely be making things a little bit more coverty, as opposed to a normal just running around blase style. Seems like there's a torch. That a new guy's been here. You start off with a torch and a flashlight, um, which it seems like this guy has just ditched all his stuff. What is that? Is that just jeans or well, maybe a t-shirt? Probably replaced his stuff for that. But, for the most part, it doesn't look like there's anything much in this place, so we'll head on outside and we'll continue our merry way along the coast. But we'll stick to the tree line as much as possible. Like I said, I really don't want to be getting shot at right now. Um, yeah, so we'll head along the coast here. We'll try and keep our peepers peeled. So as soon as the uh, tree line starts to drift off on the left, uh, on the left, sorry, where I can actually see the coast, I'll probably head across there and uh, just so I can keep my eyes peeled for these little husks of the boat you know, broken boats that you find on the beach now, like I said in the last episode, apparently the husks has uh, cargo netting or fishing netting which you can then use to transform into uh, ghillie suits and having a ghillie suit in this game, especially when it's survival and you're trying not to uh, get seen um, I'm, try, I'm trying to think where I was going with that one. Yeah, where well you're trying not to get seen, it does, you know, give you the added advantage. You know, it's not going to remove the risk straight away. What the hell is that? Straight away, but I tell it's called back. We don't want that. Um, but it does substantially remove the, you know, remove the fact of us getting seen. So. Let's just keep going along here. I'm, I'm constantly, constantly, constantly looking around the screen here, just making sure that we're not going to get surprised. Um, Rumor Intelligence says that uh, vehicles has been added into the game. Um, I haven't seen them yet. What the fuck was that noise? Hmm. Uh, I haven't seen them yet. So if we do find them, then you know it. Yeah, I'll need to ask myself, do I want to take it? I mean, having a vehicle is all great and dandy. I can cover the map a lot further. Uh, a lot, you know, I can cover more of the map, sorry. But, you know, Christ, the noise that that thing would make. Um, in a game where I'm trying not to be seen. Um, it will not help us. Okay, so I've just uh, come across this little town here. Um, like I say, I'm going to try and spare you guys from uh, just sitting around watching me bob around talking crap. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll put little short edits into the my videos, and uh, just mainly for you. 
I know it, it could be oh, do you want to start a match or lean <laughs> as my character's leading, I'm leaning here. Uh, that doesn't help. Um Yeah, I'll just try and keep the uh I'll try and keep as much of the action for you guys. Uh we've got a map. I don't need the map, I know where I'm going. Um what else have we got? Uh, green quilted jacket. I don't think we do really need to worry about uh, that just now. Um, yeah, and apparently in the next coming builds are going to be implemented in fact uh, something that you can use these uh, stoves with, or you know, fire. We can actually cook at fireplaces now. Uh, or soon. Soon will be. Uh, not right now. Uh, they haven't really implemented that yet. But uh, yeah, that should be good for the future, you know. Especially if you find a little quiet village and, you know, at some end of the map, then. Uh, what the hell was that? What is that? A, c a cooking tripod. Look at the size of that. A cooking tripod. Used for attaching cooking equipment to a fireplace. Hmm. No, we're not going to take it. We've got a little burner in, but we've got a gas stove. So, um, yeah. So what I had done before, before I done uh, made that cut, I just uh, travelled along the beach just a bit. And uh, obviously, keep my head on a swivel, making sure that um, you know if anybody does come and try and surprise me, that I'll be able to. I can actually hear someone. I'm sure, I just heard someone. Now sometimes the sound kind of lags out. At this stage in the game, I'm really not making any more mistakes. Uh, well, not making any more mistakes. I'm just uh, trying to keep my mistakes down to a minimum. I'm pretty sure I heard somebody running on the outside. I don't want to wait here for too long. Now, was it just me coming into this building or was it someone else? See, the thing is, I'm stuck up here. This is where I wish I had like a, you know, three monitor. I've got two monitors, but the other one I'm using for a uh, recording, um, recording. I keep my Audacity open on that one, and uh, obviously record on the main screen. But if I had a third screen, I wouldn't mind getting you know, these, you know, three monitors, just for the wider point of view. Um, the fuck? Oh shit! What the fuck is this? Is this just? You see what I mean? I, I, I hear cans opening, and I think it's someone taking a drink near me, but it's not. It's like a mass grave. Because I just tramp around on the top of them. Um, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. There's nothing there. Um, what's in here? What is it? Machete. Machetes are handy, actually, because you can get. Uh, I can get a wrap, you can make a wrap, if, if you've got that, you can make like a gun wrap for the Mosin. But uh, we don't have a Mosin, so we don't need to worry about it right now. Uh, a Mosin's some one of those guns that I'll probably, uh, I'll probably think about when if we do come across it. I mean right now we're using the Blaze, uh, and the Blaze's okay. Uh, you know, it's only two rounds, or two, oh, so it'll be an under over uh, chamber. So the round goes on the top, another round on the bottom. Almost like a shotgun I believe. But, uh, or is it side by side? No, it's under over. But uh, if the Mosin, that's one where the it's the magazine uh, is is already actually affixed to the gun. It's a chambered, so you just load the rounds on the top, and it loads into the chamber below. Um, you know, I'm not much of a gun nut. Uh, I think that's what the Mosin is like and how it performs. I think the Mosin was, uh, if you've ever seen a film called Enemy at the Gates, uh, the Mosin is what that guy was using there. Um, it's a good rifle, it really is, but it's, you know, in the other DayZ, as in the DayZ mod, not the DayZ standalone which we're playing right now, uh, the DayZ mod, the uh, Mosin was not involved. I, I'm getting my I'm getting my guns mixed up. I knew it was. Uh, it was the Lee Enfield. The Lee Enfield in that mod was classed as a dinner bell. The Mosin in this one is classed, or I believe would be classed as a a dinner bell. It is so freaking loud. You know, if you were trying just running along and suddenly you heard the crack of one of those, then you definitely know that it's time to get down. It's a huge, huge round. Uh, I think it's 7.62 they use. 
Is this a 7.62? I'll just quickly take this time now to have a look at oh, its tap, not I. 7.62 by 51mm. That is a big round. That is going to leave a nasty, nasty uh, exit wound on it. Um, I think the lower caliber that I've ever fired would be 9mm. Uh, 9mm, and that was a browning. And Christ, you know, it goes in to the target like a little pop, <laughs> you know, just a little pinprick. But the exit of it is, uh, I was only shooting at targets, uh, but the exit of it would, you know, it's boom. Big, big massive crater. Um, I've never fired one in anger. Um, why like I say I speak from my military days, but I've never ever fired an anger. Uh, the other one that we used was 5.56, which is the SE80. Uh, that's the standard issue rifle for the British Army. And uh, when it fires, again, it's that pinprick. And it's not so much the entry that you need to worry about, it's the exit. Um, it leaves a crater, absolute crater, out the other end. Let's we'll see, we've got some dead bodies here, so we'll just take things camo here, try and stick to cover as much as possible. I hate having this big massive green bag. Now this is an area that we need to watch out for. What I'm not going to do is make the classic mistake and uh, head straight for the bodies. You know, if you were camping and you've seen that then you'd be like, oh look, here's more meat for the grinder. There's every chance that there's somebody up in the hills here, so I'm going to try and keep my myself as much out of the field of view of the the mountain or the hill even. I've actually come round to the wrong side here. I should be on the other side. Shit, there it is, I fucking knew it. So that was close. What the fuck? So we just wait here. Somebody is definitely shooting us, I don't know from what direction though. Uh, but we need to move, we can't stay here for too long. We're just going to sprint from cover to cover. Just keep moving, keep zigzagging. That's the only thing we can do. Try and keep the uh, cover of the, the buildings, everything else around, and we'll try and get around this guy. He's definitely up there. Sure of it. Now he's going to think that we're going to head for him. But what I'm actually going to do is uh, try and get around. Actually, I've just noticed that there's a police station there. There's every chance he's on the roof of that. The police station was just about my back and right. Um, so we're just going to keep heading around until we can get into uh, somewhere substantial. Now, does he think I'm going to be here? Let's uh, just take a minute. Let's have a look. Can't see anybody up there. Just make sure everything else is... The last thing I want is the guy to give me a lining up for a shot. I mean, that's where I would be. There, but then I would also be... Um, if it, around about here on that white dot is pretty much where I would be. It's like a rocky outcrop at the top there. This guy is actively going to be scanning around looking for me here. I'm probably mincing around here for too long. I really do need to get moving. But what I'm going to do is just going to let him scan around in my eyes. I'll let him scan around hoping that I'm going to be running away to the right and he's missed an opportunity here. And then what we're going to try and do is get across this across the road here to that sort of railway station here. What an absolute bastard, man. So the guy's definitely just camping around. With probably a Mosin. Because that was definitely a high caliber shot. Pretty much almost on target. Okay, just hopefully we'll let him get bored. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to sprint for this. Here we go. Yep, there he's there. He's definitely somewhere, somewhere around here. That came from like, it sounded like from a right. I'll keep moving. 
keep scanning around. Actually, this is perfect here. And if I can just use the camera, it's allowing me to see what is going on. Definitely somebody taking a pop. Sounded relatively close. It also sounded like pretty much probably the weapon that I've got right now. I hate the fact that I fucking can't see over the, this side here. I'm blind on this part. Can you get around me? Again, I'm dilly dallying for too long. I need to get moving. But I definitely want, don't want to be going uphill. I'll just be an easy target. Right, here we go. We'll move to here. Fuck, I just don't know where he is. Right, we're going to run over here. Run to there. Around here. Again, try and keep the wall. Hug it as much as we can. Now, I don't know where else we can go here. I think the only way is north. We're going to have to deviate from our original course. Like I say, I'm not geared up to be shooting. I've got a big, massive green bag. We need to get moving. And use as much of this cover as possible. Jump that fence. Get around here. Don't stop, mate. Just you keep running. Jump here. Shit, I thought there was an exit. That's bad. It's wasted valuable time now. And get up into the trees here. Try and break um, line of sight with whoever it may be. Now what we'll do is we'll just wait five, just five minutes, mainly so we can get a breather, and uh, mainly so I can just get a scope of the land here, just got to lay the land to see if we're getting forward, in which case I'll fire maybe, reactive fire, and uh, yeah. Maybe not five minutes. <laughs> I think five minutes would be too long here. That building there is a police station right there. This is a building that uh, we need to kind of watch out for. Because you can't stand on the roof. But the guy that was shooting us was either back in the town and fired. Or he was up on this rock face over here. Looking down in there. Which is probably a likely case. Right, we dealt with that a bit too much, so what we're going to do is we're just going to head around the hill here, we'll skirt around. Now this is definitely throwing them us, throwing us off from the original, from the original plan which, which was to follow the coast. Um, now hopefully I've made this guy feel slightly nervous because he probably doesn't know where the hell I've went. And if he does, then he's uh, he's really good at stalking. <clears throat> if there's anything that I can give you from that, any tips from what just happened there, it would be to create as much block. What's the word? You need to break your line of sight. So right now, I mean, if it was somebody, if I was going to be shooting at someone, he was running up this hill, the last thing I want to be doing is running straight down the middle, I want to be keeping trees at the back of me like that, I'd keep there, so that I've got enough time, just, you're looking for seconds, or milli, even a millisecond, to try and create an advantage for yourself, you know, when if, if you ever went hunting, looking at, you know, shooting for rabbits, or whatever like that, what you want to be doing, the rabbits, sorry, it's going to try everything it can to either get speed to get away from you or it's going to zigzag around, it's not going to follow a set path. Um, that's why you need to always kind of keep 
some kind of blockage, some kind of tree, some, something or other um, to break that line of sight. I really do wish I could have zapped that guy, but with this bloody gun, I'm not really going to do much damage. Hmm. However, all good practice. All good practice. It also helps the fact that it's raining. Because it's raining, he's going to have a hard time trying to see me. Wait a minute. What was that? Oh, it's just a tree. Maybe I thought there was somebody just there. I'll probably make a cut in the video just at the top here, and then we'll just crack on my original plan, which was uh, yeah to follow that coast along. I think I've let this video run a bit too long, mainly because of that incident there. Shooting stand. I'm probably making a big mistake going up to this point here. Then I'm kind of hoping that the guy doesn't expect it. There's something weird in the trees there. Or is there anything up there? Anything of use? No, like it. Again, I'm just keeping my scanning and going on, just to find a good spot to just <laughs> close the episode. But I don't want to do it in a position where I'm going to get zicked. I wish I knew where that guy was. He's definitely heck shooting off to the right from some place, but that second shot anyway, the first shot sounded like it was pretty far. Just with the zing of it. You know, it almost sounded like the bullet had managed to get its terminal velocity. Terminal velocity, so it was making such a tremendous noise as it's breaking through the uh, through the air. I think what we'll do is we'll just run over there, this darky part of the forest over there, and we'll just call the episode there. Oh, well, bastard! Have been sitting up there, buddy, shooting at those guys that we seen in the middle of the road, though. Cocksucker. Hate campers. Hate campers. Then again, back in my Daisy Mod days, I was one of those people, so, you know, can't talk without becoming a hypocrite. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll just do it here. Just right about here. Actually, not there. We'll make it somewhere in trees. Yeah, about here. You know, if I spawn into a different server, this looks like it's a good spot for somebody to just be watching the roads. So, yeah. There we go, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, please like, comment, or subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. See you later, guys. Bye bye.